Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. Today, guys, uh, the combat cast has been released uh, for Omni Man and how he plays along with the uh, Trimmer cameo. So, today, I already watched it, so I'm gonna give you guys a rundown on the previous patch notes that we just got and then the patch notes that are coming up with the new seasons. So, I'm gonna give y'all a quick nutshell of that and then we're gonna get into uh, the trailer. I'm going to let you guys see the new uh, Mesa they have for Invasions Mode and the new season and some of the new skins they have. Also, we're going to watch uh, we're going to watch all the Omni-Man strings and things. And he also drops tomorrow and I, I will be playing with him tomorrow. And you can also catch me streaming tonight on Twitch at JSG underscore King underscore Bars, B-A-R-R-S. And of course, you can catch us on YouTube at Jet Setters Gaming for this content as well, as well. So I'm gonna get into uh, the trailer first. Get into the trailer. What good would your death accomplish? Inspiring I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm watching the trailer you. when I see the trailer initially. So I'm here. Highly doubt a blind swordsman can kill me. Sento and I are more than meets the eye. You're about man. to be humble. MK1, ha, like by a man in a cape? The DLC I characters are always so. broke. You remember Spawn, Shiba, Terminator, Rambo, Fusion, Look, Rain, all those characters are broke. So. I know y'all want to see that, but I don't want to have to edit this out later, so I'm not even going to show y'all. But it's the fatality where he uh, rams their head through the train. Yes, sir. You can go catch that on the Omni Man gameplay trailer, but yeah, I save myself the trouble. Because coming up, I'm happy to explain the. Uh, they're just going to give you the patch notes and uh, things. So I'm going to give you that rundown. Then we're going to go back into his gameplay. So this is the new season of Invasion Mode. Uh, this is the new Mesa that they're adding. And they're saying that in this uh, in this season that Natar took over and she's the invader. And it's the season of the Blood Moon. And... Um, the character skins and will be a uh, bloody vampire so that'll be that and they're resetting uh they're resetting the seasonal currencies so if you haven't used your seasonal currency uh go ahead and use it before the new season comes out because it doesn't transfer you know only thing that transfers the uh the coins so also they updated the shrine the shrine has new items and things so if you didn't uh, fully buy out the shrine for the first season all those items are still in the shrine so you can still get those items as well as the new items that they added with the coins that you have that rolled over from season one so yeah i'm gonna let y'all see this now this new stage here you go they just gonna give us a little sneak peek it ain't nothing crazy it look cool though. Oh, they also added that you can run now in invasion mode as well 
and they did some other balances okay, and buffs to pretty. it. That's oh, pretty. So there's like a, there's a couple dead bodies. They might not have noticed. There are a couple yeah. dead bodies they've added, uh, around the environment. Of towers. They've also. Oh, let me show y'all the. Uh, this is a preview of the new skins. So the skins would be like this, uh, vampire themed skins. For this season and uh, all of the content and things you get for this season to be like this theme, it's Natara Bloody Vampire. So that should be lit. These people look cold. They got the, the white skin with the blood. Yeah, I'm hyped for that. Uh, other than that, man, they got those fixes for uh, the new seasons and things that's coming out. So just an update on that. Here's a a little sneak peek of what the, the, the characters are going to look like and things you can spend your season of credits on. I'm hyped for that. So uh, we about to get into this uh, Omni-Man gameplay because that's what I came here for. So I'm going to let them uh, tell you about Omni-Man a little bit because if you don't know who he is or what he does, they describe it. So uh, like what type of character, like brute, speed, all that shit. So here we go bloody vampire versions of characters. Um, and so you'll be collecting those skins and palettes through the new season of Invasions, along with the seasonal store, and then those ones that are exclusive to Combat League. Gotcha. Um, and with the new season, we're bringing back um, some of the other mesas, but there's new pathways. There's new opponents, there's new boss fights, there's new chests, new rewards. And so it's not the same experience Addressing some questions that we've, we've had. Some... To walk through now how Omni-Man with the cameo of Tremor plays. Here All right, go. let's go. So Omni-Man right is a very simple character to describe. He is a powerhouse brawler that has super, super speed. It's kind of interesting. We've had a lot of characters who are really fast. We've had a lot of characters that are super, super strong, and he kind of combines them in pretty neat, interesting ways. So let's check him out. I go can't wait. Normals first. Here we go. They are Here's pretty straightforward. He punches and he punches really, really hard. All the punching. Yeah, All the punching. Like they hurt. Throwing the haymakers. That's exactly right. This is not a martial artist. You know, he, he is not. Um, there's not a lot of finesse here. Right. One of the first moves I'd like to show is his forward four. Okay, he's a straight up brute Pretty good brawler. advancing mid. He slams it down. He has a lot a of his mid. moves are high. So this is kind of one you want to use when you want to go blam, ahead. Blam. Is, that, that, really is that a string right there? Yes. Got it. Yeah, the end is just a one plus three input. You know I love them. <laughs> right. Another really, really good mid up close is his back one. And it has two options. Back one, one so pops a, them up. And back one, yeah, two right. is mid, mid, and a safer. I really hope he's got some cool air combos, but we'll have to wait, I well, guess. I'm sure we'll see <laughs> some extreme. He also has some really interesting so mix-ups to back. open up the opponent. Like, for example, his sweep is pretty unique oh. because he drops down and does extra damage. That because sweep that is fast. crazy. Because he's super, super fast. What a that show sweep up. He also crazy. has forward three where he literally just stomps to crown and creates an earthquake. So strong. And then I think this is one of his coolest moves. He has an awesome long range overhead mm -hmm. where he zips across the screen super fast and he's up close. How you got uh, behind uh, you? Oh, full you screen. That's the button. Yeah, it's just forward two. Oh, yeah. And he one just, he has a really good range. <laughs> um, that's all, I, that's all I'm going to need. Screen. That's it. Bro, hold on. Yeah, you can mix that up with the sweep. This boy got a full screen overhead. He just loves button. putting people's faces in the ground. Yeah. <laughs> that's He's a crazy. strong guy. So let's go over his special moves. That's crazy. Yeah. One unique thing about Omni-Man is he actually has a lot of aerial mobility. All of his special moves can be done in the air. He has ground and air versions. Okay, he has air mobility. Pretty unique to MK. First one I'd like it's to show like is the Mega Clap. Puts his hands together. It's not patty cake, it's the Mega Clap. <laughs> Sends them very, very far. It's a great combo. I got a pretty good range on the Punisher, kind of mid-range footsie tool. Could you almost use it like zoning too? Exactly. Oh, okay. Keep no. them in, keep them out. Doesn't, EX go, version, doesn't go full screen. Not full screen, but the EX version goes even okay, further. Okay, it's not full screen. And will destroy projectiles. Oh, oh okay. It can destroy he projectiles. Everything like he Sonic does. Boom clap. He also crazy. has this 
big charge mover. He literally just like charges in with his okay, chest. Big chest. And we've all big learned in the move. 90s in N64 wrestling games that if you put your chest yes. out, you're blocking moves. Mm -hmm. So he can just barge in. And the EX version has armor. So this is kind of as advancing. You think so they're this gonna is do his like armor. a projectile. You want to get in. Kind of similar to like a Johnny Cage shadow hit. Another special move he has that, and you'll see this, being able to close the gap is a reoccurring theme with Omni Man. Gotcha. Because he, he wants has to get in there and, and punch. Exactly. Torpedo move. A superhero okay, classic. He got the flying he can torpedo do this in the air move. And it actually goes oh backwards. my god, he broke. He can pop the opponent up. He can do it in the air, he broke. Another move great for just full oh, screen. Oh my goodness. At any moment, you can see it's very, very Full quick. screen. So this is interesting, it is though, fast, bro. because if you do it on the ground, you're not following up. Correct. But if and you, you do it air, you get a, a fucking oh. from that shit. Very cool. I also uh, really like how uh, the the blood from his opponent gets onto his <laughs> onto <laughs> his costume. It's, it's, it's pretty awesome. Like, I, I know that we get blood on everybody, sure. but for some reason on him, it just looks real, real cool. It's just kind of <laughs> iconic with yeah. him, you know? Yes. Yeah. So then let's go over his most interesting special move that I think really sets him apart. The Viltramite stance. So it's down back three. Okay, he has a stance in too. The air. And from here, he has four different moves plus a bunch of mobility options. Let's start with the mobility. You can cancel it, but you can also okay. warp forward. Oh. Extremely quickly. That's and again, crazy. he can so do this in the air like all of his special moves. This is, this is pretty awesome. And we'll go over his moves. The first, I think, is one of the key moves, which is this grab. Okay, and this is like grab. his main combo starter. You can quickly go into it. combo starter and grab. Bro. You can even go into it off of the low I talked about earlier. He also has this move where he zooms across super, super fast behind you. Okay, this is all from the stance. It's a great check. You think the opponent might try to like, throw something out when he's in the stance. You can quickly go into that shit it. That is crazy. He also has an overhead from anywhere on the screen. He drops down. So it tracks. Exactly. Woo! And then lastly, a full a tracking overhead. And he got uppercut. that full speed across, overhead. Full and then covers all the upward overhead space. Punch. So it's kind of like the upwards version. Then he has an anti air. I just love that spine break. It's so yeah. cool. I like the shit. <laughs> bro, Omni so Man is going to be a how am I supposed to go terrorizing people, bro. When you're doing projectiles, you're doing long range normals and all that. And he's True. Just, he's just vulnerable floating there, right? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think Wrong. Really no, I don't no, think no, so. No, no. So in Viltramite's stance, bro, he, he automatically it, dodged all fireballs. projectiles so while he's in his stance, bro. In. He is and broken. Do y'all y'all see that's, this? That's some of the coolest stuff I've ever seen. It's definitely I mean, it's pretty awesome. fucking broke. Just dodging. The EX version starts that's up faster crazy. and also makes him immune. Oh, I'm fit to make their stomach hurt. To normal attacks as well. I ain't even know. And then he can go in and punish them. That's so cool. As they're recovering. Finding so, times to use that's gonna be really interesting. Yes. That's and again, crazy. you can do that in the air. The EX version is very, very quick. It's so gonna be embarrassing too. <laughs> it is very, oh very, very cool. That's awesome. I love it. And then lastly for his mobility, he has a unique air dash. This actually has a physical hit and he got to air it. Dash. Doesn't just pass through the opponent. So you can see And it's an attack. He spins the opponent around for a free hit. That shit happens so and damn fast. And as long get as you a have combo. meters, so you can do stuff like do it twice. To do amplify. some really cool flashy combos. So you can use that to get in. Oh, you can use it good. to get out. He is broken. And always have that physical they ain't hit. even showed so us again, trimmer yet. That. If you just do it for the first time, it doesn't. I already know some cameos that I already like work with. Like I showed, you could use right. Scorpion mm -hmm. for sure. Similar to how Natara works. Very cool. So I think in general, mm -hmm. Omni Man's a, a pretty, um, pretty simple powerhouse character to play, but he's got great mobility options, great offensive ability, and I think the Viltrumite stance is going to be super, super interesting. And people, yeah, people sometimes like man, uh, that Viltrumite stance is nice. When you hear stance, you get a little scared, but his stance is actually not. It's not, it's not your no. typical, like, it's not that hard to use, really. Right, it is not really hard to use, and he was not meant to be. He is right. meant to be, like, just like you see on Invincible. He is just an abs he's just tearing through people effortlessly. That's exactly okay. what he's on. Straightforward, to easy to use, really and, it shows, yeah. and broke. Yeah. Okay, bet. Uh, this cool. man is broken. It. Yeah, I, I think he's going to be really, really cool. Oh, so my would God. Would you guys like to see Tremor? I think we would. 
Oh, yeah, you know what? Let's trendy. just save it for another day, Reeves. Just save just it? Just save it for another day. I'm going to vote yes. All right. I, All right I'm swayed. I okay, okay. All right. So Tremor's oh, one of the most on. interesting Saving. cameos yeah, in the game, and I can't wait to see our players use see what him because can do. he has more moves than any of the original roster uh, cameos. Okay. Let's see how it works. Take Let's do it. Let's do it. So we all know Tremor debuted in Mortal Kombat Special Forces, but he really made his big playable debut in MKX. Correct. Where he correct. had three variations. Yes. And that's something our design team wanted to bring back. Mm -hmm. You can actually go Aftershock, Metallic, and Crystalline, and he has a different set of moves in each stance. So I'll show how it works. He starts with Aftershock. You can even see in his life bar, and he's like the brown, rocky, kind of traditional looking clobbering time tremor. <laughs> right. So okay. he has tremor three has moves variation. when he's in Aftershock. He has his rock punch. It's exactly what you oh, expect. He just kind Lunge of comes punch. in. Yep. It's safe on block. It knocks you away. You can use it to end your strings. He also has up punch, which is a pop-up starter. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which I'm pretty sure he also Where's had in an MKX. MKX. <laughs> yes. And then lastly, he has his ground pound, where he comes in, he does a low, and then pieces out. So if you have a really good overhead, for example, that, for example, maybe you have a mid-screen overhead that's almost instant. You can also have a mid-screen low that's almost instant. That's so good. Which is that's pretty awesome. That's broke. And that's just a knockdown. Hard. Exactly. Yeah. Right. And so, so you would say aftershock. He's sort of the, the attacker. Yeah. The I offensive would say one. It's yeah. offensive. It's it's pretty basic. It's the most kind of standard tremor. Right. Kind of one, the one okay. like that's variation base, one. Tremor. Which is why it's the default one. Right. So then, at any time, you hit R1, and he'll come out, and he'll cycle to the next one, which is metallic. Now he has an entirely new set of moves, and they're all lava-based. He has his lava burst, which is like your mid-range, safe, kind of, there's no reason not to use it. That's mm -hmm. crazy. He has anti-air lava burst. This is metallic mm -hmm. mode. And then this is he really, really cool. Air. He has this bowling ball, which is a low, <laughs> and if you hold it, it becomes an overhead. Okay. So he's That's got kind of mid-range attacks, plus a 50-50 from full screen that you can mix up. Oh, awesome. Again, so straight then, out of MKX, it's so cool. Right, oh, and so then goodness. that gives you also zoning abilities or a projectile if you have a character that is lacking that, exactly. which is awesome. Or if you have really good projectiles and you want to double down, double down. mix-ups, you can go that way. Right. And maybe you have like really great anti-air, and this can be a low that is going to make them want to jump. You know, you could put out Lee May's Lantern, and then be doing this. It's just all kind. Of, I think the creative freedom in the cameo system is the coolest part of the game. Right? Can't really agree cool. more. Yep. And then lastly, one more stance. Okay. Crystalline. People have been looking forward to this. Crystalline. Yeah. I, this must Ed be like the armor stance. It, and I think a lot of people guess some of the stuff he could do. Like yeah, totally. Or so something. in Crystalline, he has two attacks. He has. Crystalline Burst, which will reflect projectiles. Cool. And then the big one, and a lot of people were like, there's no way they're gonna okay. do it. Deflect he did. Eye. Crystalline Armor. Arm. So once I... he has Crystalline Armor, it's doomsday for the opponent. <laughs> Oops, oh. I was too slow. Oh my god. All right, here we go. So he's gonna summon the armor. And he will just absorb attacks like an absolute badass. Beast. How many? Right. And, um, so the way this works, the cycling, is once you do the summon, like I said, it'll go through. And it goes in a particular order. Mm -hmm. And if you hold down in R1, it goes the opposite order. So you gotcha. could go from Crystalline to Aftershock instead of and skip uh, Metallic in between, if that makes sense. It's like yeah. the cycling. Yeah, yeah. So there is, there is definitely a skill, a skill yes. cap on like people who can go back and forth exactly. and know what you're doing. So like, yes, they have a lot of moves, but yes, you have to cycling. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to manage you that. Are gonna, right. You're going to have to manage the order that you're in because you cannot go straight from Aftershock to, or sorry, you can't go from Metallic to Aftershock unless you go down, like you cycle right, back, right. if that makes sense. I just confused myself. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll make sense because there's only three. Crazy. So right. it's rather you want to go which order. And then there's a really, really, really cool twist, I think, really sets him apart. When you call him out, it's an ambush move, and you can transition into any of these attacks. So let me show you. Right now, I'm in, I'm in Crystalline. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If I go to Aftershock and then immediately enter a back in R1, he will immediately, while still on screen, go into the ground pound. Like so. Oh, ah. interesting. Or next in the cycle is Metallic. So let's say I wanted to do the bowling ball. 
I can do it that way. Or mm. crystalline. I can do instant crystalline armor. Interesting. Very cool. So that means That's all of his moves can also be ambush moves if you commit to bringing him out, swapping, and then immediately doing the move. Now that's going to be somewhat risky. They can get you out of it. You're going to have to be where you are in the cycle and all that. So there's a lot of risk and a lot of thought that's going to go into it, but it's extremely powerful if you master the cycle. And I think it's one of the cooler mechanics in the game for us. Uh, Cameos. Excellent. Right. Very cool. How many men is uh, bro? So that's that, huh? Tremors, I think we have bro. one more thing to say. I actually show. think oh. they're not releasing Tremor. It's Fatal Blow. And the Fatal Blow attack that he goes into is pretty like? neat because, again, it uses his speed. Mm -hmm. You can see here. Nope. Okay, look at Tremor. Okay, pretty standard. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so That's pretty cool. good. So uh, early access for Omni-Man is on the 9th. That's right. And then Terminal will be out later this month. Yep. And uh, in addition to that, too, um, we will be having free trial towers as well. So you'll be able to try Omni-Man for free if you do not um, have early access for it. Yep, and that'll be in the Gateway Portal. Correct. Sounds great. Uh, Hi. Yep. Yeah. I'm just waiting for it. You, you should. All right. Hey, man. Hey, so there you have it, man. We just seen the combat cast, all the things you wanted to see. I'll spare you all the extra details, but look, here we go. So, hey, man, they said that Omni-Man for early access drops tomorrow. I have early access. I will be playing Omni-Man tomorrow, but tonight you can catch me on Twitch as well at JSG underscore King underscore bars. I'll be streaming live. Uh, doing some combat league, you know, chatting, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just come chat with the boy. I'm also trying to grow my following on that as well as YouTube. So if you can come over there and subscribe and follow and keep me company and enjoy the entertainment, I will love you. You know what I'm saying? You will be blessed forever. But, uh, man, in the meantime, between time, I know y'all, hey, I'm hyped about Omni, man. I wasn't at first. Uh, but, yeah, after seeing him now, man, that character finna be so broken. Oh my God! Everybody in the combat league finna be sick. Oh, they about to be sick. I wonder how. Uh, I want to know how how his damage is though. You know, it, they didn't say too much about his damage. Uh, he has a lot of broken skills, but is his damage up to par? Ah, I don't even think it matter. He too broke. So anyway, uh, what else did they say? Oh, you won't have tremor. You know, tremor look crazy. That. Trimmer's like complex, like Shujinko, you know what I'm saying? But Trimmer seems way more viable to use. Like he's three cameos in one. That shit is great. He got armor. He got anti-airs. He got launchers. He got safe mids. Trimmer is fucking broke, bro. So that's going to be crazy when he hit the scene as well. But he doesn't come out. I think they said uh, the Trimmer... Doesn't uh you don't get tremor to like uh November seventeenth, nineteenth or something like that. Uh yeah, man. Before it's early access, boys, we'll see what they talking about. They said they got some uh trial towers for the people who don't have early access. You can go to uh your gameplay portal or whatever and you can play the trial towers with Omni Man. So if you interested in that, that's how you do it. Uh man, that's it. Hey, I'm, I'm hype. I'm finna log out, man. Remember, I said y'all can catch me on Twitch tonight at JSG underscore King underscore Bars. I'll be on there streaming live, baby, so y'all can come chat with me. Other than that, man, you can catch me on Instagram at King underscore Bars. I'm a tattoo artist in Charlotte, North Carolina. So if you ever in the city and you're looking for some uh, some ink therapy, man, go ahead and book with your boy. You can go ahead on that Instagram and check out my services, my work. You know what I'm saying? I have a deal going as well, so hey, lock in. And if you like what I got on, baby, trap in with, trap in, yeah, trap in with the home team, man. Trap Art Clothing Co. You spell that T R A P A R T Clothing Co. You can follow them on Instagram. Click the links. You can shop. You can check out all the things that uh, I offer. Yeah, it's customized apparel. If you didn't know, so that's what it is. So hey, 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 man, Jet Setters Gaming. In the meantime, stay fly.